हरे कृष्णा क्वेश्चन वॉज हिटलर इंटरेस्टेड इन इंडिया एंशंट स्पिरिचुअल कल्चर इफ येस देन वाई डिड ही वाई वॉज ही सो क्रूवल टूवर्ड्स जूस एंड अदर ग्रुप्स ऑफ पीपल आई हर्ड दैट हिटलर सेंड अ ग्रुप ऑफ हिज साइंटिस्ट टू इंडिया टू सर्च फॉर मीन्स फॉर मेकिंग द अस्त्रास दैट आर मैंशन द इंडियन इंडियन स्क्रिप्चर्स इज दिस ट्रू आंसर दैट हिटलर वॉज इंटरेस्टेड इन इन इंडियन इंडियन लिटरेचर एंड वॉज इज इज अन मिस्टेकेबल एंड इन दिस हिटलर वॉज नॉट अ an exception he was just a manifestation of the overall trend of germany's interest in india when the europeans came to india they discovered that uh, india had a, its own ancient culture and literature which were in its own way equal to if not better than the culture that were culture and literature that had come up in europe especially in terms of literature the Euro- Euro- europeans were critical of indian culture because they saw it was filled with deity worship uh, and they couldn't comprehend it they thought it was idolatry which is strongly condemned in the abrahamic religions but uh, uh, the as far as the literature was concerned and the language sanskrit was concerned the sophistication the depth the beauty the uh, scope of sanskrit was so impressive that monier williams and uh, max muller and most of the early pioneers of sanskrit study they were immensely impressed and they said that sanskrit is actually in many ways better than both latin and greek which were the ancient languages of europe so they started exploring uh, uh, where did this ancient and magnificent language come from and not only was sanskrit superior but it was also seen that sanskrit had many similarities in terms of word roots and uh, word formations to latin and greek so some theorists came up with the idea that uh, that there was some other civilization from which both the european civilization and the indian civilization had come up and this was called as the proto indo european civilization pi or it is also called as the aryan civilization because the aryans were a race that was exalted in the rigveda and the rigveda has extremely fine sanskrit and historians consider rigveda to be the oldest of the vedas so uh, now once this theory came up of the aryan invasion theory uh, aryan invasion theory that india was ruled by primitive people earlier uh, called the dravidians but later on the aryans came and conquered india and they civilized india and those same aryans also went to europe and they became the um, forefathers of the of those who founded the greek and the subsequent roman civilizations so in this way through this theory they tried to create some sort of relationship now they uh, now the european scholars who were sponsored by the european government did this because they wanted uh, to promote their imperial interests that means by uh, telling indians that actually we are like long lost brothers we will Uh, and we have got development science and technology and we will help you develop they wanted to make british rule in india more acceptable but anyway once the aryan invasion theory came up then the question came up naturally and forcefully that where were these ancient people who ruled who who, who actually were the forefathers of both the europeans and the indians where were they living what was their homeland and then various countries in amer in europe started claiming that we are the homeland that we are that ancient uh, race from whom whole of humanity practically has come about 
and uh, although these claims were not founded on much research but they immensely titillated the egos of the respective nations who came up with those claims and eventually germany uh, uh, germany which had suffered a humiliating defeat in the first world war and had suffered further because of what was considered by the germans an extremely and unfairly harsh treaty of versailles so german national ego was extremely uh, uh, squelched at that time and hitler came up with the idea that the germans were the original aryans and through this he tried to restore the national pride of germans and he came up with his theory that we originally uh, we are we are the people who have originally populated the whole world and we are meant to populate the whole world we are meant to rule the whole world and his whole idea of nazi ideology was uh, as offspring of his uh, belief that we are the germans are the original aryans and in his own way he came up with the notion that the jews and other such other gypsies and other such groups have opposed the rise of the german race to glory and therefore that german race should be eliminated so thereafter the german race was gradu uh, uh, german nation nation whole became galvanized by hitler's systematic and poisonous ideological prop ideology and its propagation and the whole nation arose to try to conquer europe and the whole world thereafter now and in that process he killed a lot of jews because he felt that jews if removed then there will be no obstacle or the major obstacle for germans uh, germany's rise to glory will be eliminated now yes he was interested in indian culture and indian indian literature specifically but his interest in the indian literature was not to find out its spiritual spiritual essence it was to get some ev further evidence to bolster his claim that the germanic race was the proto indo aryan race and now whether he actually sent a research or specifically to find any of the astras uh, that are mentioned in the vedic literature that is best left for historians to debate and uh, certainly uh, he being belligerent wanting to fight and win would want would have been eager for any advantage that he could have got and he would have been definitely interested in gaining the astras to what extent he actually uh, considered them literally possible in today's times and what efforts he made to actualize it that is something which um, is debatable but it's undeniable that he definitely had an interest in indian culture sorry in indian literature more specifically not so much culture Uh, and unfortunately his interest was not in the spiritual side of the literature it is only in the racial side because his idea was our race is the greatest race and in fact when bhakta sadam sai thakur's disciples uh, went to preach first to europe and then to germany and then they preached in montreal uh, they set up a center even in uh, montreal and they initially received a good reception because the germans were interested in indian things but eventually one of hitler's uh, associ uh, uh, advisors intellectual advisors he read some of the writing he read the transcripts of the talks of uh, bhakt sanskar thakur's disciples that had been delivered in various places in germany and those talks clearly emphasized the spiritual side that we are not the body we are the soul and therefore whatever race we belong to doesn't matter and he was and this german advisor uh, uh, felt very strongly that this was completely against the teachings of uh, nazism which wholly emphasized the race and 
from that point onwards the german government became quite hostile to uh, to the gaudiya mat devotees who were trying to share gaudiya vaishnavism there in germany so he was never really interested in the spiritual wisdom so the essential spiritual wisdom is is transracial is trans bodily it's trans worldly in fact trans universal it takes us beyond the body to the soul it takes us beyond all the material universes beyond all of material existence to the spiritual world so hitler was definitely not interested in that he had his own distorted view of history and to support that uh, self congratulatory view of history he wanted to interpret indian literature accordingly and um, his interest in that sense did not lead uh, would not have led to any spiritual elevation for him he neither he nor his followers were open minded enough to inter to go beyond their transracial designation to go beyond their racial designations and uh, eventually because of the severe opposition from the from the uh, from the nazi rulers and further because of bakhtar uh, shah's sudden departure in 1937 and the rising tensions of the war the in as the the gaudiya mission in germany which initially seemed to have very bright prospects fizzled out and it did not attain much success till eventually prabhupada's disciples uh, later on after coming to europe and starting krishna consciousness with through george harrison and others in england then went to germany and established it in a solid footing there thank you hare krishna